Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I am here today with Tinkerbell and Miko, who I'm not sure if you how well you can see them when they're up here, but they both have little angel wings on because <laughs> this is the October Bark Box, so I'm assuming that there are going to be Halloween themed treats and toys inside. <laughs> there are her wings. Come back up here, Miki. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, they are very excited about this, so we're just going to go ahead and open it up. Do you want to help out? Is it stuck? There you go. All right, we will start with the papers. So we have Night of the Ghost Squirrels 2, Children of the Acorn. This fall, terror climbs down from the trees. And there's a little uh, certificate on the back saying they're a certified ghost sniffer. Hi, <laughs> Tinkerbell. Miki, you gotta get back up. Come on. Up, 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 up. All right, first things first, we are gonna take out the snackating chicken dog treats. Drool on the floor, dogs appearing out of nowhere. It must be the snackating. They are wheat free, corn free, and soy free with 27% protein. And the first ingredient is chicken, sourced and made in the USA. <laughs> I can't see, know if you guys can tell or not, but these wings are whacking me in the head. That is not the best thing. Nico, back up. Back up, both of you. Ah, ah. You're getting good, Belle. Do you like that one? Good girl, how about you? It was yummy. All right. Next, we have a toy. This is Spencer the Spectral Scout. It looks like it is a squirrel. It's got a little crinkly tail going on. I bet you it squeaks on the inside. <whistles> yes. So this has a spiky ball and then plush on the outside. So if you have dogs that destroy things, mine aren't the biggest destroyers, but if they rip apart the outside, there's actually a plastic squeaky ball inside. So after the toy is beat up, you get another one inside, which is super cute. And this is actually really soft. Not that that really matters for anything, but it's like very nice to touch. Okay. There is another snacketing. I just looked down to make sure that I had uh, picked out a different bag. But these are drool on the floor, dogs appearing out of nowhere, must be the snacketing, but this time they are pork. So we have wheat free, corn free, soy free, and grain free. And the first ingredient here is pork liver. These are gonna smell awful. Let's see, ah, 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 you back up. Yep, they smell pretty bad. Oh my goodness, they're in the sh I don't know if you can tell, but they're in the shape of ghosts. That's super cute. Miko, seriously, sit down. You're drooling all over everything. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Now I'm curious, because these were ghosts. I don't think I noticed if the chicken dog treats were shaped like anything. I think they might have just been squares. Maybe if they can open. Yeah, the chicken ones were just squares, but those pork ones were ghosts. Next, we have a beef burger chew, a real slow cooked beef. No corn, wheat, nitrates, or soy. 100% natural. And the first ingredient in this is beef, and it's really hard, so I'm not going to break this open now. It'll be a treat for the dogs later. But this is by Happy Howie's. And next and last, we have the scary squirrely skull. Miko, come on, back up, back up, back up. This is, it's got a classic squeaker inside and apparently the eyes are glow in the dark. So that's interesting. Let's see. Oh boy, it's got two squeakers. This is actually gonna be perfect for them to play with. One pup on each of these little squirrel heads with the skull in the middle. What do you think? All right. And 
Oh my goodness. As per usual, they have a really cute paper. And on the back of this, it says the Wee Wee board. So instead of a Ouija board, it has a bunch of different... It almost looks like those magic eye puzzles. Oh, there's a ghost scroll finder that you're supposed to put over the circles. I am very curious as to what on earth that is. I have never been stumped by a bark box before. I have no idea how you're supposed to play this game. I can see that there are little pictures underneath this, but I don't know what on earth the ghost squirrel finder is. I have no clue. I guess this is for uh, dogs that also have little humans as well. But uh, hopefully the toddlers are uh, smarter than I am because I don't quite understand. But on the opposite side, it is the return of the night squirrels. So that was an adorably spooky bark box. We've got three different types of treats. We've got two toys and two about to be very happy puppies. <laughs> If you do want to get your very own BarkBox for your own pups, you can head over to BarkBox.com slash TinkAndMeek or use code TinkAndMeek in the Bark Shop. The specials that go along with that change every month, so depending on when you're watching this, they'll be a little different, but if you pop over to that website, you can always see what you're getting. It's usually either percentage off or some little extra free tidbit. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Are you going to give a thumbs up? <laughs> Good girl. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell right next to that so you can see when we are uploading. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a very happy Halloween. Bye. We can't knock over the cameras though. Can't knock them over. Can I? I you can go play with these outside if I get your wings off.